Smile if you like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this guy's been in my vlogs, but this is Kier. What do you do again? What's your profession? So, I did. No, so if you go Apollo, the membership for students is £22 a month. Do you not have £22 to spend for 30 days? I do, but like, I don't think exactly. I'll be more consistent, isn't it? I don't think I'll be consistent. What do you mean? I've got a school coming up. I've got the BMG. And? MC. Yeah, yeah. So follow my Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> follow my TikTok, guys. Okay. Peace. Guys, I couldn't record the last bit of our workout. We're doing carbs. I'm in complete agony right now. I can't feel my legs. I can't even stand up straight without wobbling. If this is how you're supposed to train legs. If you're walking out the gym and you're walking completely fine, you're not training your legs hard enough. Personally, I could say that I have blessed leg genetics, but that's not an excuse to, you know, to under train my legs. I still go all out. Oh my God. Look at the separation. Too hot, too hot, too hot for me, too hot for me. Hello guys, it is Thursday on the fifth week of the cut. Didn't realize my eye was red, what the hell? But we're not training today. We're heading to JD gym. We're gonna do some cardio. Recently, I've been loving my cardio sessions after my workouts. The vascularity is slowly coming in. I don't know if you can see it there, but, but yeah, definitely seeing a lot more veins than I used to. But yeah, it's about 40, 32 degrees today. Oh dear Lord. Yeah, blasting the aircon. Gonna waste all my gas. Let's go. So I know that for some people, training cardio after a two hour, three hour session is very difficult and it's very hard to stay on the tread for a long period of time. But one tip that I can give you guys is try and make your cardio more exciting than it is right now. So I guarantee that probably 80% of you guys hate doing cardio because you hate the thought of being on the treadmill for 40, 30 minutes straight. So instead of doing that, why don't you do 10 minutes of cardio on the treadmill and then move on to the bike? Maybe include some boxing and do further sorts of cardio. So that's the best way I am able to sustain cardio for such a long period of time and how I can do it for like 40 minutes straight. But let's find something that you enjoy. My favorite combination right now is going on the bike for about a minute and a half and then do some shadow boxing for about a minute. So I'm not the best boxer, but the thing is when you're doing shadow boxing, it really keeps your heart rate up. And that's the main thing, guys. It doesn't really matter what cardio you're doing. 
as long as you keep that heart rate up. So, you know, there's so many factors that are involved, but once you find your burning heart rate, or once you find that BPM where you start to go into fat burning territory, stick to that throughout your whole cardio, mix it up, try and make it more fun. Guaranteed, if you do that 30 minutes straight every single day, 100% you will lose fat. Just saw it out with my pre workout. Look how cool that looks. That is sick. I wish since I started training that I kept every single pre workout. This is probably not even a tenth of all the pre workout that I've consumed, but all this pre workout here has actually been used to help create this physique. Anyways, I'm gonna trim this down. I'm trying to grow it all together, so I shave it with a guard. I need to wake up in roughly five hours, so good night. Say something informative for once in your life. Say something you get some sleep. Say something useful once in your life. Wait, one, uh, one hundred for how many? For for five, <laughs> I'm ruining my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Keith and Charlie, how was it? It's uh, good. Tiring. I hate standing overhead press. Okay, so I've just had my post meal protein shake. Just watching something here. The yeah, creatine, put the protein in, and a little bit more detail with my diet. So currently, I am just meal prepping right now. I've got four whole chicken breasts. These weigh about 190 grams each, more or less. And then I've got my carbs here. With my diet, I try to be as precise as possible. With my meat, I'm not too, too fussy with um, the amount of grams. As long as I get as close as possible, it's sufficient. And what I've seasoned it with was salt, pepper, and a bit of ketchup, you know. Nothing too fancy. It tastes quite nice. That's what I've been seasoning my chicken with recently. You know, it is the job. I've got sweet potato here. So I'm having right now for the fourth, fifth, what, what week am I on? Finishing, okay, I'm midway through the fifth week, so. And currently I am on about 190 grams of sweet potato uncooked. So I've cooked half of it, oh shoot, I think. Okay, yeah, that's done. This is, all of this here is four separate meals. So in total, so in total I have three meals a day after my breakfast. So in total four meals. I'm gonna have, two portions of these later and then got quite a bit of meat in the fridge as well probably have that with some rice just restocked for my breakfast the breakfast of choice that i want to have for the next couple of days is i've got skirt yogurt so this weighs about 450 so i have about i forgot the measurements but i think it's about 200 something grams so like basically half of this 100 grams of mixed berries and 18 grams of granola. Yeah, that's my breakfast sorted for the next week, week or so. Yeah, and then I just have to restock in berries halfway through, but not too shabby. Just gonna season this quickly with a bit of salt and yeah, that's it. That should be good to go. Second meal of the day. I had my snack for the day. I had my post-workout protein shake, I had my breakfast, and I had my second meal. So I had a really fat meal and my stomach is bloating. But this is the thing, guys. My stomach right now feels like it's gonna explode. And look how lean I look. It just it just shows you like how low my body fat is now compared to before. It's crazy. Like I feel full right now. Like if I try to vacuum right now, I'm telling you all the food would just run up my throat and I'll just vomit. But that I'm looking like this, full. Is that crazy or not? Yeah, it's crazy. 
But yeah, I finished the meal. In the fridge, I have meal prep for tomorrow. And I have my meal for later, so. When it comes to meal prep, I don't like prepping meals way too far in advance because the thing is, especially because I cook a lot of chicken, when I leave the chicken in the fridge for too long and I go to reheat it, it's just, it tastes different, it's not nice. So I only like prepping no more than two days in advance, so yeah. On Saturdays, Callum works at Apollo at 7.45, that's when he needs to be there. So I always go with him in the morning, I bring him to work, I get my session in, get it out the way of the day. And basically, my, the rest of my day consists of me just focusing more on my PT side. So Monday to Friday, I'm working in the hospital, depending what shift I am, nine to five, if I'm on a late shift, if I'm on a night shift, it changes all the time. So now, on the both weekends, technically, I don't really rest. It's my, you know, it's my rest from the hospital, but this is time, the best time for me to really focus on my PT side. I do a lot of editing, so whoever you're watching right now, later in the day, I'm gonna be editing it. Sung out all my clients' diets, clients' programs, just sung out a lot of stuff. So Saturdays is never really a rest day for me. It's a lot of work. And then Sunday, I kind of have to have a rest day by then. So that's when my clients update their weight and then I have to adjust their training plan and diet plan accordingly. So yeah, apart from that, not too bad. I am coping, I'm managing well. For me, time management is the number one priority. I can't be wasting time doing, you know, just sitting down and doing whatever, I have to do something. But yeah guys, I've got a few clips that I need to post on my TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff, and I'm gonna edit this video that you're watching right now, and yeah, let's get on with the day. I wish I remembered to record more on the weekends because the only time I ever really like remember to record is like when I'm working out, and I keep forgetting that I need to make my videos more of like a vlog, not just purely workout, because no one wants to watch a video of me doing a whole workout, seeing me sit on the bench doing four sets, eight reps, and that's just it for the next 20 minutes, you know what I mean? So I have to make it entertaining for you guys, entertaining for me. Look, it's not down my bed. He has work at three, so I'm gonna let him sleep. I found it. I found my camera. Guys, I was, I've been looking for my camera for hours. I was supposed to film something around three o'clock. I looked for it for about 20 minutes and then I just couldn't be bothered. And then I fell asleep. I need to do cardio now. I just found it. It was literally in that little corner over there under the ironing board. I took my pre-cardio supplements. 30 minutes on the bike. Let's go. Sitting lonely in my room again, I'm trying to find the words to say, but nothing comes out. I am looking for the better day. It seems like they just stay away whenever I try. There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside, oh wow 